always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here in the final frontier who is already settled, and the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? Yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or, you know, for justice. Or maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of a hundred, maybe sixty have no effect. Thirty suffer adverse effects, little things like brain cancer. The other ten show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on jump zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet. To prevent leaks. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bull every night after dinner and play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. We have to depend on each other in combat. I like knowing what kind of man I have at my back. I understand, ma'am. I won't let you down. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? Of course. But I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. She seems nice enough. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Any intentions there, Lieutenant? None, Commander. I prefer adventurous women. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? 
I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. 